folks. Um, I'm here in the PUA shed, as you can see. Um, this video is going to be about the work we've been doing over the last couple of days. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting on the various items of materials for continuing the fencing, uh, as from the last video, I think, or one of the last videos. Um, we've been doing that yesterday and finishing today, and also we're going to be doing some scrap clearance uh, out of the yard, ready for uh, an exciting building project which we've got coming up. Um, at the start of uh, well, over Christmas and the start of next year, which you'll see plenty more videos on that because we're having our workshop replaced, which is much needed after many, many years. It's outdated, so outside, uh, just through the door, so there we'll, we'll be having a workshop placed. Um, so there's gonna be lots of videos on that, which you'll see up and coming over the next few months. Um, but as I say, today, finishing some fencing, uh, I've got to do some woodwork in a minute, which I'll, I'll take you through and perhaps uh, tell you what I'm doing and uh, then we'll go out on the site, finish the fencing and probably finish the video with some uh, tidying up in the yard ready for some scrap metal to be taken away. Okay so you can see this little contraption here, this bit of wood I've made with angle on it. Um, what's happening is uh, we're having some containers delivered to uh, the other side, um, Willowlong Station and they're storage containers while we have things moved out of the workshop uh, to be stored in there that we can't store anywhere else on the site. Now those containers are going to straddle the track over one of the tracks. Uh, the ground on the side is quite low so there's going to be a ballast sort of bed made up to the bottom level of those sleepers which you see on the floor here um, and then the sleepers will sit on top and then the containers will sit on the top of that which will just take it over the top of the track so we want about 25 mil clearance. So what I've made here is this piece of wood uh, which you can see goes out and the, the, the vertical piece at the end there um, is the bottom of the sleepers and that's where I want the ballast bed so what I've got to do is stick it across the rail uh, and I'm going to make a square up in a minute for the ballast pads uh, put the square underneath that bit of wood at the end there and that will give me the right level for the ballast put the sleepers on top and it means the whole container will sit on top and clear the track so that's what I've done for that bit so I'll come back in a minute and um, you can see me making the um, square boxes for the ballast beds. Right, so you can see I've cut four bits of wood. Um, that's for the four side of the wood. Just a bit of scrap there. Uh, made two at five foot and two at just a bit longer than five foot to take account of the ends because they're going to go across the ends when I make them up. I've got to screw them together and put these angle brackets on the corners just to um, straighten them up. So I'll do a few bits of drilling holes and uh, put them together.
So there's the um, box uh, I'm trying to make. Um, that'll be all infilled with ballast when we have it out on the track, which you'll see in a, a later video in um, November when the container's delivered. Um, I had to move the train out as you just saw because uh, I didn't have enough room in here with the train in the way. A bit of an air leak which I managed to find and rectify. So uh, I'll set this up a bit higher and then you'll see me uh, screwing together the corners and putting the angle brackets on. And then that should be that job completed. So there we are guys, one square box frame and my other little gadget that I made earlier all ready to go on the train for tomorrow's work. Okay, so we're back up on site now with the fence. So you can see what we've done yesterday. Um, we didn't put the railings in there's where we ended off um, last time with the green railings there. So we haven't put the railings up, we left it open overnight, but we'll do that uh, and get this finished by today. So you can see a bit further down where the gap is, that's the section we've got to finish off.
Here we are people, we're uh, being propelled back by uh, Lady Lakes, Chris is driving at the front, just going past all the work we've done this afternoon with the fence here, uh, ending nicely this concrete post just coming up. So that's that job finished, we're heading back to the yard now, it's about half past four, we've got a little bit of daylight left so we'll be doing some uh, tidying up and loading of various bits of scrap metal to take to Willow Lawn tomorrow.
So we're back here in the uh, mess room. Chris is filming me for this uh, last little bit. Just to round off, we uh, did quite a lot today. We had to stop because it was getting um, rather dark outside. Um, so we did some fencing. We just seen us finish off loading some scrap metal up for tomorrow. I made some bits and pieces for work tomorrow, which will be another video. Um, so all in all, a productive day. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. All our subscribers keep uh, looking out for more videos and we'll see you on the next one.